I'm going to show you how easy it is to sew buttonholes on the Singer Elite CE677. And this is just one of our blocks from our Stitching Cosmos online course. So if you want to learn more about your decorative stitches and do fun things with other accessory feet, this is a course that you can check out. There's free videos that you can preview for free, see if the course is right for you. There's links below in the description. But I wanted to point out that buttonholes don't have to be boring. Nobody wants boring buttonholes. But here we have actually done them with variegated thread and opened them up and wove ribbon through them. So I love that this course allows you to just work on a simple block and then each block has a different technique. And when you put them all together, the blocks all hook up and kind of create a fun art quilt. So as we start to explore, just know that buttonholes can be used in more than just garments. Plus, on this machine, you have a standard buttonhole right here at stitch zero, right here on the button. But then if you open up this part down here, you have buttonholes 12 through 17, plus mending stitches, plus bar tacks, so you have a lot more. Once you know how to do one buttonhole, you can do all these different styles. Find the one that you like the best and go from there. Find next your buttonhole foot. So it's the long white one. And you're gonna notice that the, the place where it attaches to the machine is more in the front. So when you attach it, there's this whole part in the back that sticks out. Now, this buttonhole foot is awesome because when you take a button, and open up the side. So right here where there's kind of two little parts, here I'll hold it up right there. Yes, you can take the, the one furthest from you and push it open. And up comes this little kind of place where you can now set the button right in the foot. And now the foot in the machine will do the buttonhole measured to this length. Now, when you pick the stitch, you notice a new icon hopping up on the screen. It has a picture of kind of like a little paddle. And so as you look underneath your machine, you have of course the needle threader, but behind it, way up here, there is a paddle we're gonna need to pull down to activate the buttonhole and the foot and get this measured. What that little paddle does is it sits right here in between these two arms. And then as it gets all the way back here, it is triggered to then turn around and it'll stop at the end. So it's really, really easy. So I'm gonna push that back up and then I'm gonna attach the foot and we'll start stitching our first buttonhole. If you don't know what size you want, you can just open this up and kind of leave it as a gap. And then that will be the size of your buttonhole. So even if you don't have a button, you can even just open Open it up. So take the other foot off and then lower it down as you click it in place. One thing that you're going to notice is what to do with this extra thread. Some people like to thread it down through the foot, but it, I'll tell you a little trick. If you just do one buttonhole, when you're done, that thread will get dragged underneath the foot for you. So watch what I'm going to do next. Do keep in mind that these buttonholes are going to stitch this way. So make sure your first one isn't starting next to the edge of the fabric because you're gonna run out of real estate really, really fast. The other thing that will make your buttonholes turn out nice and smooth is some form of stabilizer. Usually with a garment, you have interfaced the fabric where buttonholes are placed. But for right now, if you can put some stabilizer, a tearaway stabilizer underneath your fabric, you're gonna get a better looking buttonhole. When you're ready to start stitching, make sure that you've pulled down the buttonhole paddle that I showed you, and it needs to sit behind that little arm. Hold the thread off to the side, and if you wanna use the start stop button, you can touch and hold it, and it'll stitch the whole buttonhole from start to finish without even stopping. So I can go ahead if I want, I can trim off this little thread, which some Sometimes I'll do on my first one and then I can just go ahead and start it again. So it's going to go ahead and do the satin stitch up the left side, come back down, do the tack at the bottom, and then stitch all the way to the other end, finishing with the tack at the top, a couple locking stitches, and as soon as you lift up this foot, the buttonhole foot resets. This is where the thread goes down underneath that foot and we have the first perfect buttonhole. So if I wanna do this again, I just need to know where I want that buttonhole to start. Sometimes I will have marked my fabric so I can sink my needle right into the exact spot so they're nice and even. But once you go ahead and lower that down, 
push the start stop button if you like that and go ahead and stitch as many buttonholes as you want. You'll get the same size over and over and over. Do try out some of the other styles of buttonholes because you can just pick them, leave the same button in the foot when you're done and it is super easy because all you have to do, start it and it finishes for you. Now, here's a little trick I like to tell my students is usually once, now that I understand how buttonholes are made, is what I'm gonna do is keep a button in my foot when I store this away. You know why? Because in six months, a year, who knows how long, till you do another one, when you reach for this foot, you'll be like, oh yeah, I need to put a button back here. And that might jog some memories of how to get started without a lot of looking up or trial and error. Now, next we're gonna actually use a button sew on foot and a built-in stitch to actually sew the button onto the fabric with the button sew on foot. If you're looking for more videos on how to use your Singer sewing machine, check out all the ones that we have done. We've got a playlist right here at the end so you can start right back at the beginning. Remember, most Singer sewing machines do all work about the same and you'll find stitches and feet that are similar from model to model. Happy sewing!